The last topic we want to cover in this section is useful life. In example 7, we have an amusement company that maintains records for each video game it installs in an arcade. Suppose that C of T and R of T represent total costs and revenue, both in thousands of dollars, T years after a particular game has been installed, and the derivatives C prime, R prime are the functions below. So the first thing we want to answer is what's the useful life of the game? So useful life is found by setting marginal cost equal to marginal revenue. So when is the rate of change of our cost equal to the rate of change of our revenue? So we can solve 2 equals 8e to the negative 0.3t. And we know t has to be some positive value, has to be some positive amount of time. So we can add the restriction for t greater than 0. So in this case, we get approximately 4.6 for t, meaning the useful life of the game will be approximately 4.6 years. The next thing we want to do is find the area between those two curves. And in this case, we'll look at it on this interval from, on an interval from 0 to 4.6, so over the useful life. So we'll find the area between those two curves over its useful life. And in this case, we get a result of about 10.758. And then we're asked to provide an interpretation for what that means. So we found the area between those two curves, but what information does that give us? So in finding the area between the two curves, we were essentially calculating the integral of r prime minus c prime, which is the same thing as the integral of p prime, so our marginal profit function. Integrating marginal profit gets us back to our profit function, p of x. So in finding this integral, what we found was the total profit And we found that total profit to be 10.758, but that value is in thousands, so we found the total profit to be $10,758 over its usable life. In our last example, we have a company that wants to introduce a new machine that will produce a rate of annual savings in dollars given by this function S prime, uh, where X is the number of years of operation while producing a rate of annual costs given by the function C prime. So we want to find for how many years will be profitable to use this new machine. So this is that same idea of useful life. So we want to solve 212 minus x squared equal to x squared plus 6 fifths x. And again, x has to be something greater than 0 since it's time. So we get a value of 10 meaning it will be profitable for 10 years. Then we want to find what are the net total savings during the first year of the use of this machine. So we can find that by finding the area between these two curves. In this case, for x equals 0 to 1, since we're just looking at the first year of the use of this machine. And we get a value of about 211. So the total net savings over the first year are $211. Then we want to find the net total savings over the entire period of the use of the machine. So that means instead of from 0 to 1, we want to consider x going from 0 to 10. So the full 10-year lifespan that this machine will operate. And we get a value of about 1,393. So the total net savings over that entire 10-year period will be 1,393.
three hundred ninety three dollars